Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple hit effect in Unity. So we are gonna start from our last uh, project, so with the projectile, and we are just gonna make the hit effect for this one. So I'm gonna show you once again how it looks like. So that's what we had last time. And now we are gonna add a hit effect as if it was hitting something there at the end of the projectile. So, let's get started. First of all, we are going to need to create a particle system. And I want to start with a simple glow, so that when it hits, it will proc some kind of light, and the light will go boom, but very fast. So, let's start. Hit. And let's say I just want to a single particle, so here burst at temp 0. And I want this to be a mesh, so it's only a vertex. So it does this. I don't want any speed. I want the lifetime to be 0.1, because that's how long a flash lasts most of the time. I don't want it to loop. I want it to be bigger, maybe three. And yep. So now let's make the color of lifetime here max, and then here zero, so that it fades. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna choose. I think we already have a glow texture somewhere. So this one. Okay. And that's already a good start. You can see there is a hit, there's a light, and it's very fast. Now I want to add some sparks to it. So I'm just gonna duplicate this and call it sparks, put it inside, and choose our sparks texture. So let's choose this one. I want this to go in a cone. Up. I want them to last a lot longer, maybe one between dot eight and one dot six, for example. And I want them to be stretched. Maybe like this. And I want some speed. Let's put another random. And maybe between four and eight. Oh Okay, I want them to be smaller, so let's say minus 2, minus 3, and of course I want a lot more, so maybe 30. Okay, so you can see here there's already something going on, but uh, it's they're all exactly the same and I don't really want that. So, first of all let's just say like this. More random in the size, more random in the speed, and lifetime, maybe a bit more random to put. 2.6 and 2. Like this. Okay. So now I want the speed to change the size of the particles, so maybe that's a bit too much. But let's say like this. So the ones go faster should be a bit bigger this then I want them to not simply go always at the same speed I want them to slow down at the end because of the air friction so let's just say I want to use a limit velocity of our lifetime so what it will do is just what it says it's gonna limit the velocity over the lifetime so let's say I want a curve, and this is the maximum speed here, and the maximum speed for now is 10, so I'm gonna put 10 here, and I want it to fade like this. So do you see they slow down at the end of their life? So it looks a bit more natural like this. And to make it look a bit better, I want some size of a lifetime. So let's do this too. So that it's the same curve, so that it will also 
uh, get smaller over their lifetime. Like this. That's a bit too slow for me. I wanted them to be a bit faster. So let's put maybe 15. Here, 15 too. And I don't want them to last that long. So maybe one. Okay, that's already better. But as you can see, we also have the same thing here. And I don't want that. So let's just say the color of a lifetime here as a small dark area at the beginning. Still not quite there. Maybe let's cheat a bit. Mm. Okay, it's saying I think it's okay. Yep. You have the glow and you have the sparks. We'll see the colors later. For now, let's just block out the thing. And then I would like some shockwave to it. So let's take the hit, right click, copy component of the particle system, duplicate this one and paste the component and we name it shockwave and place it in the center okay so we are gonna create a new material ctrl d for duplicate and let's call it shockwave there so now we need to create the shockwave texture for it and that's what we're gonna do in photoshop whoops here so let's say that nah, the size doesn't really matter here. Control Shift N to create a new layer. And let's do something very simple. Like just take a sphere, oh, a sphere, a circle here. Nope, in white. Uh, Alt Shift to create, cre uh, to get the same proportions. And here. So now maybe that's a bit too small here. Double click, gradient overlay, normal, that's okay. And I want it to be black. I want them to be in radial so that it does like this, but that's not what I want. I want the opposite, so just click reverse. And then we are gonna adjust this. So I want more white on the edges and more black, faster. So maybe more like this. Okay, sounds good enough. Maybe let's have a very thin gray area here. Okay. Then just Ctrl A, Ctrl Shift C, Ctrl V to cop to select everything, copy everything, pa paste everything, and filter blue, Gaussian blur. Maybe let's say eight, and put it on lighten. There you have a very basic shockwave. Let's save this in blah, 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 where did I put this here? Show an explorer. Okay. Texture TGA and shockwave. Okay. And now let's just apply the material and change the texture here. Shockwave. Oops, wrong name. Okay, so the shockwave has to be has to last a bit longer because you won't see it like this. So let's say maybe I don't know one second should be enough, and not that intense. Let's lower the glow intensity to one should be enough. Okay, so the color of lifetime is okay, and uh, now let's see how it looks like. Okay, so you can see the shockwave isn't doing anything. It just appears and then it fades. And that's not what I want. I want it to grow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a nice curve here. So I want it to grow very fast at the beginning because that's a shockwave and the shockwave is very fast. But then it will slow down and that's about how it should look like. You can see here the shockwave. Let's reduce it a small bit. Yep. That's okay. 
maybe let's make it a bit bigger and now let's try with the colors let's say I want them to be blue because the projectile is blue so let's say I want it to be this color uh, maybe a bit white thing ah it's just the hit the hit it's so fast it doesn't really change the color so let's just say I want it to be cyan here and here maybe a bit darker but we won't actually see it I think the sparks though we are gonna see it for sure so I want them to be very bright at the beginning and once again darker at the end so maybe in the purplish purple thing here okay and maybe even white not entirely white but almost white here okay let's see how it looks like for now yes nice color so far and now of course I want the shockwave to be the same so maybe we can just copy paste right click on the gradient copy and paste it so that we have the same color scheme and let's say I want it to fade a bit at the beginning and here now uh, I'm not sure I want the sparks who have a direction like that uh, let's say the game is in 2d and I just want the sparks to be all around it so all I have to do is to make a cone into a sphere put it in the middle in the center sorry and yeah that's it maybe a bit more of them and maybe a bit whiter at the beginning yep like this and I want them to start from the edge of the shockwave so let's say I want them to start around here so emit from shell and radius to its but one okay and that looks good for me so now what we are gonna do hmm, we are just gonna cheat a bit so let's just take the projectile and let's add the hit inside of it okay let's put it okay it's already in the center and let's say when it hits I think it stops moving here yep when it hits I want it to activate the hit so all I have to do is just set this on deactivate it at the beginning and here add property hit active and at this frame I want it to be active so that when it stops the motion it will activate the effect and then the effect will play and then we can re uh, deactivate it again here I don't think it's needed because we already deactivated at the beginning of the animation so it's fine okay let's see how it looks like I'm just gonna cheat a bit so I just take the one particle effect we have that I set in the manager and I just set it to three seconds for the duration and that's just what we need so if you look how it looks like that's okay here and it pays the impact okay so let's change the camera let's play it first okay play the game here okay so now why is the reason to d please Whoop. okay let's just change that here woohoo copy okay so here we have a very simple hit effect the sparks go way too fast though so I'm gonna change that quickly sparks let's say three to I don't know seven seven here let's test again so it has to be deactivated first don't forget that and I forgot to change the camera here paste okay Okay, that's already better. 
let the glow to have a bit more impact. So let's just make it bigger here. And let's say the sparks have to go a bit longer, so maybe like this. And then that's a bit too long, so maybe like more like this. And the shockwave, that's a bit too long too. And it should grow. grow a bit longer I would like the glow to be more powerful though what we could try would be to add some shape to it so let's just create a simple shape texture here so I want it to be always centered so Let's make something very simple here. Up. Fill it with white. And move it around. Oop, duplicate it first, of course. Okay. Okay, something like this. And this, of course, some glow. And like this. Maybe the glow here is a bit too much. Okay, save this. And let's call it uh, impact shape 01. Okay, now let's duplicate again a material. In Impact shape 01. Let's put this here and let's duplicate this. Paste and let's call it impact shape <laughs> and let's put the material inside of it. And now let's make it a bit longer. Ah, you can see it's already better. Bigger too. And let's not forget. Here, max particle size, let's put it to 1. Okay, now the size. Let's do something like this. Flat in the middle and this one like this. Let's try. Okay, maybe let's rock two of them with random rotation. And random sizes. Okay, let's try how it looks like. The impact shape should already be bigger at the beginning and then just fade. I mean, get smaller at the end. Okay, that's better already. And maybe hmm. let's remove this very too clean effect for this shockwave. I would like to give some more shapes in it. So let's duplicate it and let's use this for example. Here, okay. Uh, click on, uh, press shift to always have a line instead of just doing it manually because it doesn't always look good like that. Okay, try to add some diversity to the shapes and like this. Okay, that's really better. Uh, click it on, uh, put it on screen. Maybe reduce this a bit, this too. Oh, it's okay. Whoop. 
socket I this. Let's try shockwave here. Well, nope. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, it's I like it. Now I feel like it's just it procs too er uh, too late. So we just move this here and let's try. Aha. Okay, that's a bit better, maybe a bit earlier. Okay. Whoop. Ah, that's already better. Okay, I think that's I think that's enough for this one actually. I'm not really sure what I could add for a tutorial and I don't want this video to be extremely long too so I think for now it's gonna be okay mm, leave more here yep maybe a bit more variations same for the sparks okay that sounds good to me Let's try one last time. Yep, that sounds good to me. It's already a very very simple but good looking hit effect. So I leave you with that for this one and uh, I'll make a new video when I have some free time <laughs> which I haven't had a lot recently so sorry for that. <laughs> But uh, if you have any questions, once again, feel free to leave one comment in the comment section below the video. And I will link the package in the description. And yeah, if you just need anything, just ask and I'll reply. So once again, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.